In this same interlude, it doth befall that I, one snout by name, present a wall. And such a wall as I would have you think had in it a crannied hole or chink through which the lovers, Pyramus and Thisbe, did whisper often very secretly. This wall, this rough cast, and this stone to show that I am that same wall, the truth is so. And this, the cranny is, right and sinister, through which the fearful lovers are to whisper. Thus have I wall, my part discharged so, and being done, thus wall away doth go. You know, this house could go up in smoke tomorrow. It wouldn't bother me a bit. I can remember the time when the holes in my socks were so big you could put them on for me the rent. I grew up in a tough New York tenement. My mother, my father, and nine kids in one and a half rooms. We had two beds and a cot. If you wanted to go to sleep, you had to take a number off the wall. And my father, five foot five, 135 pounds. He had a bad heart, bad lungs, a bad kidneys, and a bad liver. He was a piano mover. He died at the ripe old age of 35 of an acute attack of everything. And my mother, she went to work in a sweatshop, 10 hours a day. At night, she scrubbed floors in Madison Square Garden. And on the weekends, she sold hot sweet potatoes on the corner of 14th and Broadway. What she didn't sell, she brought home, and that was our dinner for the week. On Thanksgiving, she stuffed the sweet potato with a little white potato. And our clothes, rags she found on the street, or a pair of old curtains. You know what it's like for a 13-year-old boy to grow up in a tough New York tenement wearing curtains? Fairies used to beat me up. But through it all, she never complained. Through all the hardship and the hunger, the freezing winters and the boiling hot summers. She never complained. It was God's will, she said. What God has given, God can take away. So be grateful for what God gives you. God's will. <laughs>